Hello everyone, it's Cleofe again and welcome to Crafting Shed. So my sister requested if I can crochet her these. She sent me this picture. These are cocoon hanging baskets. I guess she found this in Instagram. And these are what I came up with. This is my version of a cocoon hanging basket. And this is what I'm going to show you for today's tutorial. Now let's get started. For the yarn, I use this Woolies Thick and Quick. This is size 6, super bulky yarn. And each yarn is about 106 yards, and this is in peanut color. And I wanted my tension to be tight, so I use size K, 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. I also needed a pair of scissors, blunt needle, markers, and tape measure. So let's start with a knot and then chain two. One, two, then begin with round one, which is six single crochets in the first chain right here. So one, then I'm just gonna put a marker so that we'll know where to join later to join this round. So that's one single crochet, this is two, three, four, five, and six. And join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet where the marker is. This step is optional. You don't have to put the marker. I'm just doing this to easily show or locate where to join. So this is how to end round one. Tighten, uh, pull the tail to tighten and this is what round one looks like. Round two, chain one, two single crochets in the first stitch or in the same stitch right here, one, then put the marker again and another single crochet in the same stitch. So that's two single crochets in the same stitch. Two single crochets again in the next stitch, one and two. And basically two single crochets in each stitch around. So one, two in the same stitch. And in the next stitch here, two single crochets again, one, two. And in the next stitch here, two single crochets again, one, two, then in the last stitch right here, two single crochets, one and two. Then join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet again to join this round. And after round two, there uh, should be 12 single crochets. So this is how to join round two and this is what round two looks like. Round three is same as round two, which is chain one. Two single crochets in the first stitch right here. So one and put a marker. Another single crochet in the same stitch right here. So two single crochets in the first stitch, two single crochets in the next stitch, one, two, and repeat the pattern, two single crochets in the next stitch again. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round. So I'm just gonna do the last stitch, two single crochets in the last stitch right here. Then join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet where the marker is. So after round three, uh, there should be 24 single crochets for this round. So join here. To finish the round and this is what round three looks like. Round four, chain one, two single crochets in the same stitch or in the first stitch right here. So one, two, and you can continue with putting a marker if it helps you locating the first single crochet. And for me, I'm just going to continue without it. Then continue with the pattern, single crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. Then repeat two single crochets in the next stitch. One, 
two single crochets in the same stitch. Then single crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. Continue with the pattern. Two single crochets in the next stitch. So one and two single crochets in the same stitch. Then single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back to the end of the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round. I'm just going to do the last repeat. So two single crochets in the next stitch, one, and two single crochets in the same stitch, then single crochet in the last two stitches, one and two. And after round four, there should be 32 single crochets. Then join the round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet right here. So this is how to end round four and this is what round four looks like. Round five, chain one, single crochet in the first stitch or in the same stitch right here, single crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch around. So a simple round of one single crochet in each stitch around. So continue this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. And I'm here now towards the end of the round. I'm just going to do the last two stitches. So single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the last stitch right here. So after round five, there should only also be 32 single crochets, just like round four. Then join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet right here. So this is how to end round five. And this is what round five looks like. Round six, we're going to increase the round again. So chain one, two single crochets in the same stitch or in the first stitch. So one, two, single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Then repeat the pattern, two single crochets in the next stitch. One, and two single crochets in the same stitch, single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. Repeat two single crochets in the next stitch. One, and two single crochets, then single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round. So I'm just going to do the last repeat. So single crochet, two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two single crochets in the same stitch, then single crochet in the last three stitches, one, two, three. And after round six, there should be 40 single crochets. Then join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet right here. And this is how to end round six. Round seven, no increase for this round. So chain one, single crochet in the same stitch or the first stitch right here. Single crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch around. So a simple round of single crochet in each stitch. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round. I'm just gonna do the last two stitches. So single crochet in the next stitch and in the last stitch. Then join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet right here. So after round seven, there will be 40 single crochets also. So this is how to end round seven, and this is what round seven looks like. Round eight, chain one, two single crochets in the same stitch, or in the first stitch right here. So one, and two single crochets in the same stitch. So we're, we are increasing this round. Then single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. Repeat the pattern, two single crochets in the next stitch. So right here, one, 
two single crochets in the same stitch, then single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Repeat the pattern, two single crochets in the next stitch. So one, and two single crochets in the same stitch, and single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round. I'm just gonna do the last repeat. So two single crochets in the next stitch right here. One and two single crochets in the same stitch. Then single crochet in the uh, last four stitches. One, two, three, and four. So for round eight, there will be 48 single crochets. So, and join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet right here. So this is how to end round eight, and this is what round eight looks like. Round nine, chain one, single crochet in the first stitch or in the same stitch right here, single crochet in the next stitch, and in each stitch around. So a simple round of single crochet in each stitch around again. Repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting, out, cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. And I'm here now towards the end of the round. I'm just gonna do the last three stitches. So single crochet in the next stitch. And in the next stitch, and then this is the last stitch. Then join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet right here. So after round nine, since we didn't increase the round, there should only be 48 single crochets again. And this is what round nine looks like. Round 10, we will increase this round again. So chain one, two single crochets in the same stitch or in the first stitch. So here, one and two single crochets in this stitch. Then single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And repeat the pattern, two single crochets in the next stitch right here. So one and two single crochets in the same stitch. Single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Then repeat two single crochets in the next stitch. So one, two single crochets in the same stitch, then single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round. So I'm just going to do the last repeat. So two single crochets in the next stitch right here. One and two single crochets in the same stitch. And single crochet in the last five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Then join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet right here. So after round 10, there will be 56 single crochets for this round. So this is how to end round 10, and this is what round 10 looks like. Round 11, chain one, single crochet in the same stitch or in the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and in each stitch around. So a simple round of one single crochet in each stitch around again. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round. So I'm just gonna continue with single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, 
two, and then in the last stitch right here. Then join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet right here. And after round 11, there should be 56 single crochets. So this is how to end round 11, and this is what round 11 looks like. Round 12, repeat round 11, which is chain one, single crochet in the same stitch, and single crochet in each stitch around. So continue this pattern around. This is the same as round 11. So after round 12, this is what it looks like. It's starting to look like a bowl. In round 13, I'm going to start forming this bowl into a teardrop shape. So to do that, I'll be increasing the first and last stitches. So increase the first stitch right here and then the last stitch right here. So round 13, chain one and two single crochets to increase in the same stitch or the first stitch. So one and two single crochets in the same stitch. Then single crochet in the next stitch, and in each stitch around. So continue with this pattern, one single crochet stitch in each stitch around, and I'll see you towards the end of the round to show you how to do the last stitch. And I'm here now towards the end of the round, so one single crochet in each stitch, and then the last stitch right here, we're going to increase this one with two single crochets in this stitch. So one and two in the same stitch. So two single crochets to end round 13. Then join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet right here. So this is how to end round 13 and this is what round 13 looks like. Rounds 14 to 16, just repeat round 13. Again, the increase will just be in the first and last stitches to get that elongated or teardrop shape. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with round 16. And this is now what the piece looks like after round 16. So look at this shape. So this is where I increase the first and last stitches of the last four rounds. So the bottom of the piece looks like a bowl. And the rim of the piece is now visibly a teardrop shape. For the next round, that would be round 17, I'm going to decrease the round to shape the piece into a cocoon. Round 17, chain one, skip the first stitch. So skip this one, then single crochet two together stitch starting here in the next. So to do that, insert in this next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's SC two together stitch. Then single crochet in the next two stitches. So this is one and two. Then repeat the pattern, two single crochet, two together stitch in the next two stitches. So insert in the first stitch, insert in the second stitch, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then single crochet in the next two stitches, one and two. So we are decreasing this round and this is what it looks like. Repeat, single crochet two together stitch in the next two stitches. So insert in this next stitch here, yarn over, pull through. Insert in the next stitch, in the second stitch, yarn over, pull through. Three loops in the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then single crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round, so I'm just going to continue with the repeat. So single crochet, two together stitch in the next two stitches. So insert in the next, yarn over, pull through. Insert in the next, yarn over, pull through, and do the stitch. Then single crochet in the next two stitches, one, two. Then single crochet, two together stitch again in the next two stitches. 
right here and then one last stitch here so I'm just gonna do a single crochet in this last stitch and this is what it looks like so the round is now decreased a little bit then before I join this round I'm going to uh, do my handle so from here I'm going to chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this will be the handle to hang the cocoon then join with a slip stitch in the chain one right here at the beginning of the round so do the slip stitch like this and this is how to end round 17 and this is what round 17 looks like so the extra chain 10 will be the hole to hang on hooks round 18 this will be the last round and i will decrease the round more so slip stitch in the next stitch right here slip stitch in the next stitch and in, in each stitch around so slip stitch decreases the round and at the same time make the rim tight and gives the piece a clean finish so continue this pattern around i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the round I'm here now towards the end of the round, so I'm just going to continue with the slip stitch in the last three stitches. So next one here, then another slip stitch here, and then one last stitch in the last stitch right here. Then in the chain 10, I'm going to do 12 single crochets in the chain 10 space. So one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so twelve single crochets on the chain ten space so this is going to be our hole to hang the basket then end the round with a slip stitch in the first stitch right here or the first slip stitch of the round so this is how to end round 18 and this is what round 18 looks like so we are done with the basket and it now shaped like a cocoon last step is to do the strap at the base of the hole to hold the basket better so I cut the yarn and left a long tail of about 26 inches and I will use this extra yarn to tie the base of the hole. So face the piece this way, pull the tail to the left, and go around to the back. Yarn over and pull through, pull through the last stitch like this. Pull to tighten. Then pull the tail and leave about 6 inches. Then tie the string around the base like this and kind of arrange it so that it looks nice. Then end at the front like this. Pull the remaining tail on the other side, insert through the string and tighten. Then thread the remaining tail onto the blunt needle and Weave the ends like this. And at this point, we are done. Weave the ends, clean up the tails, and we're done. And this is now what the piece looks like, all cleaned up and all done. So for the measurements, the diameter, if you measure this way, is about 5.5 inches. And from the handle, is about 6.5 inches. From the rim all the way to the bottom at the center is about 7 inches. And the circumference, the widest, is about 23 inches. And the hole is about 1 inch. 
If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video and please subscribe.